Josh at the Acoustic Centre. Uh, a month or two ago, we introduced you to the world of Powers Electric Guitars, brought to you by Andy Powers of Taylor fame. Josh had just been over there to the factory himself to see yep. it all in action. Um, now that we've got to know them a little bit, um, we thought we'd just run you through them again, but also because we've just had three new colours arrive. Now, the mm. amount of colours they do is right. astonishing. It's more than 50, I think. Well, I think it's actually close to 80, 80 <laughs> okay. colours, which well, I have no idea, even going to visit them at the factory, it's like I have no idea how you can come up with that right. many colours. This but, is unheard of in guitar production. It's amazing. But we should go back to a little bit of why there's so many colours. Okay. I mean, the big influence on, on the guitars is these guitars are built in Southern California mm -hmm. in San Diego to be exact, mm -hmm. just outside in El Cajon mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a huge car culture there mm -hmm. and you, when you think of California and Southern California and how much sun there is and hot rotting that's why there's so many colours because mm -hmm. Andy himself is a hot rotter. And the colours themselves are based on car colours. They're based colours. on car colours, right. that's correct. So this one was sandalwood tan. Sandalwood tan and, it and it's actually metallic it's actually gold metallic -ish. it is it's it's almost like a desert gold you see yeah that it's gorgeous and i like this one i'm looking at it going oh i like that yeah so um <clears throat> yeah ti tiger stripe on that pick guard looks really cool that i think they've managed to get these looking really good they must have sat and looked at how the knobs look together with all of the colors because it's so all cool. tied it's together unique. beautiful it's cool they've nailed it the shape's yeah. great and now we've got to play these for a month or two. They are incredible. Yeah, guitars. they really are. Yeah. Like when you sit with one of these for 20 minutes yeah. and you really get to know it and feel it and the way it's designed, they are as good as any guitar I think I've ever played. Yeah, just all those little quality things that you feel beautiful, the way that the, um, the volume rides so smoothly, the way the tone rides so smoothly. This new cam tail uh, tremolo Amazing. that currently... Again, you can go full floating as you would on a Strat mm -hmm. or any instrument like that, uh, or a Bixby. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, this looks like a Bixby, but each individual saddle is a different shape. So everything pulls in tune together. Mm. Most notably, I've currently got it locked off. So in other words, if you're someone who does, you know, the old, you know, that kind of like pedal steel bend. Yeah. Yeah, so the bottom E doesn't go out of tune, so... Whereas, if I don't have that locked off, it'll tilt. Gotcha. But I can dip it forward. And you can still get a bit of warble. So it's an interesting uh, development uh, in, in terms of just the weight, the way this works, the fact you can lock it off or leave it full floating. So it's well thought out, like everything that Andy's been building. So... Very, very cool. Sandalwood tan, beautiful colour. I'm going to give you another one, Joshy. Righto. Surprise me. We've got, we've got, <laughs> I think, five of these guitars in stock now. Yep. The colour range is, is just incredible. I saw a shop in Texas online this morning had 28 colours in stock. Yeah, 28 different colours. That's just some colors. of the colours. That's just some of the colours. Okay. They come with the option of a block colour like yep. that or the beautiful... Quilted uh, top, that's, good. Yeah, that's cool. Quilted that maple top. This is Cabernet Red with an incredible quilted maple top. A little bit extra for the uh, timber top ones with the translucent uh, finish. I that's poured you a glass good. of your favourite <laughs> favorite Cabernet Red. Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So, uh, yeah, well, let's hear it. It's interesting, you know, like every guitar, they have the same character, but pickups, this is what I'm always astonished with pickups, pickups in a guitar, a different guitar will make the pickup sound different, mm -hmm. as it should, as it because should. Yeah. a guitar, the pickup is, is, you know, influenced by the guitar around it, and it does actually sound quite different from that one, even though the pickups are exactly the same. So. Mm -hmm. Pickup, both pickups. Great sound. Great. And uh, so, yeah, love that colour. Again, all of the knobs and the buttons, uh, they're built, they're basically, they build them themselves. Um, and the idea came from when you used to glass, you know, a surfboard or when they used to build the insides of cars. 
all of this epoxy resin used to build up on the inside of the booths and mm-hmm. then you and they used to chip it off back mm-hmm. in the day and build stuff out mm-hmm. of it you know same with surfboard as i said surfboard glassing so they've taken that concept that californian surfing culture concept and they've turned it into a practical thing which i think looks pretty amazing it so does. every single every single knob is completely different so phenomenal guitars yeah andy summers from the police has been seen playing a yep. couple he's yep. jumped on board um very lightweight very well balanced. I love the story of the neck radius. I reckon that's just yeah. incredible. So just the, the, radi- the radius on the neck is, instead of having one curvature, if you've got a flatter neck, um, very old necks tend to be more curved mm. across the fretboard, as in very early strats and tallies. Mm. Uh, think of a circle, the radius of a circle, mm. and think of the top of that, that's, that's where you get your radius mm. from. So... Mm. Uh, old guitars are very curved, so you tend to get a bit more sometimes choke in a guitar like that when you're bending a string. Mm-hmm. When you have a flatter radius, that sort of has a bit more speediness to it. That's a modern shreddy kind of guitar has a very flat radius. Mm-hmm. This guitar is more curved on the bass and flatter on the treble side. So mm. this side's flatter and this side's more curved. Mm. You know, so you kind of get the best of both worlds in there and so you never get any choke. So it's got a beautiful feel under the fingers, basically, is, is the whole concept. But How long that. till we see you playing one of these on stage? I just need a little bit of money. <laughs> I know you love them. I do love them. Yeah. Because uh, what I love about it is the simplicity. I love a guitar that's like, it's two pickups, three positions. In the similar way a tally is, it's mm. like, but three usable mm. sounds. Mm. It's like, you know, any guitar like that, you know, uh, what, what I've been thinking, like a, a Gretsch, like a Junior, uh, sorry, a Gretsch, a, um, a Les Paul Junior, for instance, you know, just with like one pickup in the back and mm. um, Les Paul Specials, you know, mm. just anything that's got one in one pickup in it, or two pickups with only three options, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think sometimes when you have too many options, you've got like you still only use two of them anyway. Yeah, you know, you've got too many <laughs> options that aren't usable. Yeah. yeah, the only exception to that rule, I feel. You know, and you've got to be careful when you're talking to the internet. But, you know, strats, you've got five way. Oh, that's but right. they all work. The strat is your, uh, that's what you're known for. That's right. So. Give your mate Andy Powers a call and see if he can hook you up with one. I've got, <laughs> I got one more for you. Yeah. So that's the back pickup, a bit mm-hmm. more. This is great. It's got a bit more of that. That, that spank. Anyway. You get more and more country in your old age, aren't you? <laughs> well, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Let's go. I've got one for you. Back to another solid colour. Yeah. I present Hemi Orange. Wow. Look at that one. Not to I'll be pass confu- that back. Not to be confused with Ford Raptor Orange. <laughs> uh, of Ford course. Raptor Orange. Well, it could be mistaken for Ford it's Raptor Orange. It's Hemi Orange. It gets its name from the Dodge Charger, of course. Yes. Uh, looks pretty cool to me. Again, that tie-in with the uh, the car culture of Southern California. Mm-hmm. And sounds like... And, and we're just going through a Princeton, by the way. Yeah, Everyone's great. just straight into a Princeton with a mute switch. That one sounds a bit warmer to my ears. Yeah. I can't believe how unique they are. Yep. And the colour options is is kind of, a, it's just as good a story as the rest of the guitar. Yeah, it's, it's unique like, to the guitar. The amount of colour options, it's a story unto itself. Yeah, and so this this colour here is is pretty pretty bright. It's it's probably not everyone's taste, but 
And it's, I'm amazed with what people love. Mm. You know, everyone has such everyone different... Loves indivi- every, yeah, everyone loves everything. Yeah, everyone has such different tastes. Like, the other one that we sold, the first one was a terracotta orange. That was cool, That was too. the first one we sold. Yeah. You know, and I was like, wow, look at that colour. And someone absolutely loved it yeah. straight away. And yeah. somebody is absolutely going to love that, too. And that'll look amazing on stage. Yeah. The young ones are like that one. The young, <laughs> the, young. the young kids are like that one. Yeah. Joshy, really well done, mate. We'll have to be back. Every time we get new colours, we'll have to uh, show them off. Yeah. Beautifully done, mate. Take us out with a few chords. Um, I just love hearing that ring out. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs>